Hey, what's up team? This is Eddie. Great. Hope you are well. Today, I'm going to teach you a great technique to be able to clean up your workflow in an instant. You can see here on the right hand side that I've got the key commands window open. This is one way of assigning MIDI control parameters to various functions like recording or really any other task. And these correspond to the assignments that you see inside of the controller assignments window. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete these here and you'll see that they will basically be removed from the controller assignment window. And again, that's simply because they work together. All right, so I think I've cleaned everything up, deleted, and you can also delete it from over here, by the way, you don't necessarily have to do it that way. So yeah, we'll throw that away. So now I have nothing assigned. And so we can do this in different ways. You can go and watch my other video so I can show you another workflow called the controller assignment workflow. In this case, I'm just gonna use the key command window to assign a parameter to a MIDI controller. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit learn new assignment. And I've got toggle channel strip input monitoring selected. And so I'll go ahead and click on that assignment you can see that it shows up inside of the controller assignment window as well. Let's go ahead and do the same for record enable. And probably my favorite toggle channel strip from mono to stereo. All right, I use that a lot, so I know that's going to help quite a bit. All right, so then when I get out of these windows, check out what happens. I'm on an audio track. I can record enable and toggle from mono. Okay, so that one does not seem to be working. So we're gonna go back inside. All right, we'll delete the message. Let's relearn it. All right, let's go ahead and check out if this worked, make sure the track is in focus and we're going from stereo to mono. All right, so everything's working. I want you to go ahead and try out that workflow. If you don't have a MIDI controller, you don't necessarily have to assign it this way. You can also go into the key command window. For example, let's say you want to toggle channel strip format, then you can just hit learn key label, and in my case, I have control shift S, and that will do the same thing. Here, check it out on my screen. Control shift S and that takes me there. So however you want to do it, you're essentially going to assign either a key command with keyboard modifiers. It could be simple. It could be really complex. You know, it could be control option command shift L or something like that, but it can also just be an assignment that you learn inside of the key command window or conversely, if you want to take your mapping game to a new level, you can use the controller assignment window. And if you're interested in learning more about this window, go ahead and check out my other vids. On that note, I do have 10 free Logic courses. If you wanna go ahead and check those out, I teach people how to use this program in and out. My goal is to inform you in such a way where you will never ever forget the principles and the architecture of this program. So if you wanna experience Logic Pro in a new way, I highly recommend you check out those 10 free courses Link is in the description below. All right, team, this is Eddie Gray signing off. Thanks a bunch. We'll see you.